I, I called these likely sequences. So now let's introduce the proper information theoretic terminology. These are called typical sets. So this is um, the concepts I'm introducing in this lecture are really foundational. The asymptotic EP partition property is probably the most fundamental mathematical idea in information theory. And the fundamental object of information theory is the typical set. So the typical set, which has a funny notation, A sub epsilon superscript brackets N. is the set of sequences x1, x2, and so on up to xn with the property that probability of x1, x2 and so on up to xn, is sandwiched between 2 to the minus n h of x plus epsilon and 2 to the minus n h of x minus epsilon. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that is Uh, the typical set. So you'll notice that uh, we have epsilon and n here. Uh, so those are both parameters of this set because n is the length of this sequence and epsilon appears here and here and also appears here. So a epsilon n is the set that contains sequences close to the log average probability so if I take log on the left and the log on the right um, what I will get is nh of x and if I take log in here then I just get the sample mean like I did before So what we're going to do is we're going to show that as n becomes very large, this set contains basically all of the likely sequences. So as far as source coding is concerned, what we can do is we can focus our efforts on this set and ignore everything outside of it, because everything outside of it occurs with vanishingly small probability. So in other words, if we, if we propose a source code that uh, encodes only elements of the typical set and ignores everything outside of the typical set, we can have a source code that succeeds with arbitrarily high probability and, we will show, can encode things with, with average length nh of x. <coughs>